Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. I go by Kimber Kiss here on YouTube. Do you guys like my new ring? <laughs> I got lips for Kimber Kiss. It's a kiss for Kimber Kiss. I got lip ring, I got a lip bracelet, I got a lip necklace. <laughs> I was having fun looking for Kimber Kiss stuff. Cause as you know, Kimber Kiss. <laughs> so I'm gonna take out my twin flame decks here. The His Thoughts, the Mystical Flames Oracle, and the Flames Fantasies. Let's see. I wanna take out my Rainbow Tarot, the Driven Weight deck. And messages. I also bought a pendulum. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you here in a second. I'm also going to pull from the Energy Oracle today. So I have my Tarot Sexual Magic. So if you're offended by nude images, please click off of this video. I bought a pendulum. I bought a pendulum, you guys. So think of a question and it just went to yes <laughs> but we'll do it again towards um the middle or the end and i'll have you guys ask a question and we'll see what what it goes to if you want to ask now it's it's shaken now too if you want to ask i'm going to start off with some energy oracle we have anxiety <laughs> said no way so whatever you just asked is said no way we have um but the first one was yes so we have anxiety so this is a number nine you're going to be bringing into um you're going to be nearing a completion or a phase of anxiety within your life and i feel like this could be the divine feminine or divine masculine the way that they've been thinking we also have the thinking man so this is 10. So it's a completion of thought. I feel like a lot of you are going to be walking away. This is another number nine. Walking away towards love. You're going to be walking towards love. And this could be male or female. It's just man holding a heart, but it could also be female. And you're, you're seeing your door to value. So really you're repairing your heart. You're repairing your heart here by seeing your worth. You're, you're repairing your heart by seeing your value, your door to value. Your door to value is right open. I'm also seeing money coming in for you guys unexpectedly. Like maybe like a check comes in the mail and it's like a, a rebate or a refund check for something. Maybe like a 401k or something you had forgotten about. Um, maybe just some kind of like, it could be anything really from a company or Maybe something you had sold a while ago and then all of a sudden you get a check for it. I'm not sure. Take it how it resonates, but I'm chewing my gum right now, my mint gum, because it helps to keep me from coughing so much <laughs> since I've been sick. So bear with me if you hear me chewing like a cow. Yeah, door to personal healing and happiness is in the reverse because this shows up under the anxiety card in the past position. So I feel like you you guys really were working on your own happiness and your own healing. And I feel like it was kind of overwhelming. It might have been or felt like a lot. And you guys were like, uh, overwhelmed. But I do see this like getting better and better here as the reading goes. So angel of love in the reverse under the thinking man. So I feel like a lot of you are in love. Um... And perhaps one of you is just, you know, overthinking it or thinking that, it, nah, could it be possible? Could it? Or in like disbelief kind of, that's the energy. That's what I'm being told. So take that how it resonates. But it's going to be a completion of this uncertainty because as you move in away from this energy here, you're walking towards something better here. You're walking towards something better here. I feel like the male, the Divine Masculine, has been healing a lot of things, too. Uh, we have women holding a coin in the reverse. You're walking away from a lack mentality. Ultimately, that's what you guys are doing. You're walking away from a lack mentality. 
you're now seeing your worth and because you have shifted your perception and your perspectives, the money is just going to start pouring in because naturally it's just reflecting the vibration that you are creating. The one that you are embodying rather and creating. Can I get any more messages for the divine feminine divine? Yin yang on the side. Okay, so I really do feel this person is working on getting back into balance. This divine masculine, this man holding a heart, he's working on getting back into the balance with the yin and the yang card. This is also master number 22. So take that how that resonates. That might be an important number for you to Google and see what message is there for you, the one that you're drawn to. But I do feel this male really wants to work on getting himself back into balance, getting this energy back into balance, getting this relationship back into balance. But first he has to get himself into balance, okay? And because it landed on its side, I wouldn't say it's out of balance completely. It's actually a work in progress and pretty soon it will be in the upright. Oh, that one just flew out. Storm warning in the reverse. Okay, so we have broken heart and storm warning. Okay, so some of you, some of you, what are they telling me here? This person could unintentionally break your heart. This could be you doing this also, but what I'm mainly getting, what I'm mainly getting here. <clears throat> there's a completion of something. Something is ending, something new is beginning. Something old is ending, something new is beginning. Because we have the 10 here with the storm warning and the nine is like, the like almost the completion the 10 is the completion so it's like you're working on your own healing you're working on your own broken heart but i do i i just see endings for some relationships here perhaps karmic relationships or just relationships that haven't been going very well and that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing endings of relationships, people feeling, you know, sad about it. But it had to end. This is like a tower moment here. It had to end. It was inevitable. I mean, it was going to happen whether you wanted it to or not. And I feel like some of you being sad about that. But now that it's over, you're really seeing your worth. You're seeing your door to value. Okay, like you get it now. You're walking through that door or you're allowing that door to be open and you're allowing things to come to you now. Really seeing your worth, really knowing your value. Under door to value, we have hostilities in the reverse and appreciation in the reverse. So I feel like the reason that you haven't seen your value in the past was because perhaps people were very, very hostile towards you. Um, you felt like you weren't appreciated by anybody. Um, but again, these are basically things that you are turning around um, with the store of value being in the upright. Like if this wasn't the reverse and these two cards came out underneath it, I'd be really, really worried. But the reason that you see your door to value now is because you went through all of this. You experience these tests, these trials. You experience the hostilities. And they only grew your value for yourself. Like instead of defeating your value, they only grew and expanded the value and the appreciation that you have for yourself. And now also with this anxiety card, I feel like a lot of you had a lot of hostile thoughts towards yourselves. Perhaps you didn't even appreciate yourselves. And now that you've had this realization that, hey, if I keep doing this, if I keep staying in this energy of being brokenhearted and hostile towards myself, this is that warning that um, I need to get everything in balance because if I don't, I'm not going to see my worth and I know my worth. Therefore, 
I learned my lessons. I've walked away from the things that were not serving me. And now I see the appreciation that I have for myself and I also see my own value. So that's what I'm getting for the collective here. Should I pull one more? Yeah. Spirit wants me to pull one more. A lot of people are feeling sad at this time. But they're saying, don't worry, it'll get better. Don't worry, it'll get better. Do not worry. Contract in the reverse, journey in the reverse. So a lot of you were in karmic contracts. And see how this person's like blindly trying to get his life back into balance? He had to fulfill his contract. She had to fulfill her contract. It left you feeling pretty hostile. It was probably a very hostile relationship. Um, but now that you've walked away from this, you're going on a journey. And though this is in the reverse, it's only because you're not sure where you're headed. And that uncertainty uncertainty can feel a little uncomforting, right? It puts us out of our comfort zone. But this is a good journey. This is a, this could be a union journey because we do have the number two. It isn't a one, which would make me feel like you're just going on your own. Perhaps you could be. But I do feel like a lot of you will be going towards another relationship. Perhaps this person you're already speaking with, talking to, maybe this is someone new coming in. Take it how it resonates. But I do feel like it'll be a journey in a different kind of relationship in a whole new arena. Let's see. Okay, so I do see this person, this person came in and it's like the thinking man. <laughs> this person came in with a whole new viewpoint with an offer in his hand and he was helping you through this anxiety that you were feeling, through your self-worth, um, it was basically like an angel of love coming in, like a guardian angel. This person was like an angel to help you towards your path, towards your journey, to help you, you know, see your worth, to really trust your value, appreciate, to show you the appreciation that you should have for yourself, that should have always been there, should have never gotten um, misconstrued because of all of these like karmic relationships and things. But I also see abundance coming in like here with the Page of Pentacles. I see a business opportunity. I see an, a, way, a different way you can go about, you know, improving your finances. I see a collaboration. I see many things with this card for a lot of you. But for most of all, I see you really understanding that you are so abundant because of the value that you hold with inside of yourself and you're tapping into that frequency. Yeah, I really feel like this divine masculine has a lot on his mind and a lot he's dealing with and a lot he's uncertain about. And you are both there. You are both there to help each other. King of Wands on the side and Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So because this is, well, it actually was on its side. These were both on their side. You're coming into balance with your finances, okay? And you're coming into balance with your certainty of self. So what I always like to tell people is get in touch with yourself. What is it that you are certain of about yourself? What is your truth? Because when you know your truth, there's literally nothing anyone can do or say against you because you know your truth. When you know, when you know your worth, there's literally nothing anyone can just say or do against you because you know your worth and you're starting to realize this when you know you're abundant there's literally nothing anyone can say or do against you because you know you're abundant i mean that's a frequency no one can take that from you only you can take that from you and you're starting to realize this and you're starting like with the help of this person they're starting to help you realize your worth they're starting to help you realize how worthy you are the value that you hold the love that you are but it's asking you to get sure of this yourself but they're helping you get sure of it yourself. Do you see the beauty in that? They could just be telling you, telling you, telling you just for 
the benefit of their own, but they're telling you to help you to see, to help you to realize. <clears throat> so it's a very beautiful energy here. I also feel like this, this lack of abundance or this lack of worth was in the past or will be in the past very shortly. And this person coming in that's going to help your value, perhaps they're already here and you've been talking to them for quite some time, or they could be newer and they could be entering into your life. And you will know because of the way that they go about communicating with you, the way that they go about speaking to you and basically lifting your spirits, lifting you up. It'll be that kind of energy. Yeah, you're leaving a lot in the past and like your lower, you're leaving a lot of your lower frequencies in the past. You're leaving a lot of it in the past. And it, if you don't, it's, it's just going to be a tower. Like it's just going to blow up in the face and you're going to have to leave it. So it's either you decide to leave it or you're forced to leave it. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of you realize what it is that you need to do and the things that you need to correct. So they're saying if you journal, that will really help. Um, let's see. Okay, they're wanting me to pull from the Mystical Flames Oracle. And this is a deck by me. The Mystical Flames Oracle by Kim Kiss. Those cards flew out fast. Heart Chakra Alignment Under Broken Heart. So heart chakra alignment landed on top of broken heart and so did this other card. I'll pull it up in a minute. But do you see the blue there? Blue orb? It's so funny because I was literally just talking with a friend about that today. And these heart signs, I've been seeing hearts everywhere. It's so weird. I've seen one here on the man holding the heart's leg. You know, here's that big red heart that you would normally see. But I noticed it on his leg. Um, I've been seeing them in the clouds. I've been seeing them everywhere. Literally everywhere. Um... So there's definitely a heart chakra alignment going on. If you watched my last Twin Flame reading, I believe I brought it up in that reading, or maybe it was the one before. But um, yeah, there's a huge heart chakra alignment. And you're really healing your heart. Oh my gosh, okay. And then the second, look at this, you guys. The broken heart, see how there's a crack down the center? And this card is, this landed on the heart too. This says the veil in between us is dissipating. So see how it's like, it's going to come together. The veil is dissipating. Like you really are coming into that one heart. Okay. This is a, it's a huge heart chakra alignment between the two hearts coming together. The veil in between us is dissipating. How beautiful. Let's see what else I can get. Let me, let me clear the energies. And shuffle these. Blossoming together. Yeah, upon splitting the deck, we have blossoming together. So you guys are really, really blossoming and growing with one another. Merging. It's almost like if you look at this card too with the pastel colors and they're like meshing into one being. That's kind of like what's happening. The veil is <clears throat> dissipating and you're meshing into one being. <clears throat> I got, we can do telekinesis in the reverse upon splitting the deck. So I feel like one of you can do it already and the other one is learning how to do it or will be learning how to do it or experimenting with it. One of you is teaching, oh, oh my God, I cannot freaking make this up. This is the card I was just talking about that landed on top of the cards with the broken heart. This is heart chakra healing, heart chakra enhancement. This is that card I was talking about in the last reading. So we have heart chakra alignment, heart chakra healing and enhancement, all on top of the broken heart. See how this is getting healed? It's so divine. Oh my gosh. And they just brought me to, I, I hit my Lemurian Starberry crystal. So this was recommended to me by a friend. Um, the Starberry Lemurians are different because they were actually left behind, not by the physical Lemurian people, but by the higher dimensional ET being. Lemurians. So they were left behind by ET beings, the Starberries. So maybe a Starberry Lemurian would be a good idea for you to purchase. Um, what's cool about mine is it was actually struck by lightning 
And I keep getting, like, ever since I got this, I keep getting messages about lightning. And look, here we have the lightning. Um, I feel like this connection, if you look at their hearts here, exploding like this is the one heart. Okay, and look at all that energy. Um, we also have the red and green in that card, like I talked about in my last reading. Okay, so a lot of you, this is another message because this is bottom of the deck. This is rainbow love. So a lot of you could be sharing rainbow frequencies, but some of you could be in same-sex relationships as well. So if you're watching this, this is a confirmation of that rainbow love there, okay, with the two females kissing. I feel like one of you might have, um, like, one of you, if, if it's same sex, like male or female, I feel like one of you really loves the unicorns or cotton candy. Take it how it resonates. Bottom of the deck is junk DNA awakens, upgrades, and ascension symptoms. So a lot of people have been experiencing that. Also, I'm feeling like if it's a same-sex female, I'm feeling one of you is really, really bubbly and like into like bright colors and rainbows and the other one's kind of gothic or like darker stuff, darker energies or just darker colors in general. Take it how it resonates. Won't be for all of you, but that was a special message for one of you. I feel like the other person that likes the darker energies actually like is obsessed with the color blue. Obsessed. With the color blue and the other one likes rainbows <laughs> i mean who wouldn't like rainbows i'm obsessed with rainbows as you guys know i mean just look at my cards <laughs> distance between us traveling time travel time oh travel time so this could also be time travel because i said traveling time so perhaps some of you are traveling time literally um this is understanding like you will always be together no matter the distance in between you both, but I feel like one of you could be traveling to the other or you both could be traveling to each other. I feel like one is traveling to the other or maybe one is just traveling right now, okay? You got your energy is fluid. Aren't these cards gorgeous? Oh my God, talk about rainbows. Our hearts connect through the rainbow bridge. So some of you could have passed on um, maybe there's someone viewing this where their loved one had passed on. And if that's the case, I am very, very sorry for your loss. But they are definitely here communicating to you through this reading. Otherwise, this card would not have come out. But yes, our hearts communicate through the rainbow bridge and you will know who you are. And it's, it's a huge love. It's a quantum love morphing into one. And you guys can both still, like if it's pertaining to this card... You guys can still speak light language and breathe in each other's essences together because you've had infinite past lives together. And you can still complete missions together, is what they're saying. You're still completing missions together. They're still right by your side. Like, they're there with you in spirit. Any other messages? Complete sacral renewal. There's a complete renewal here of the sacral chakra. This came through one of my last readings as well. So getting really creative with one another, especially when it comes to the mission. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see any romance angels cards. Wedding in the reverse. This situation involves marriage. I feel like one of you could be married, the other one not. Um, or both of you are. Um, or you guys could perhaps be thinking about marriage or maybe one's afraid to get married again or at all. <laughs> we have children in the reverse. Your love life is being affected by children. So you have that in the reverse. And then we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So it really is that true, true love. Let's see his thoughts. I'll pull a flame fantasies too. Those are kind of X-rated, but... It's sometimes fun to see what comes through. I can't believe we're at 26 minutes already. I can only go to like a half an hour, otherwise it doesn't upload. I wish we could just be together already, 
Let's see what other messages we get. I'll be coming back soon. So perhaps this person is traveling. Maybe they are leaving or maybe they're just going to take some time for them to heal. But they will be back soon. It says I'll be coming back soon. I need to let go of this baggage I've been carrying with me. So literally they could be, you know, packing their bags right now to leave to go somewhere or they just, they know they need to heal while they're away or they know they need to heal just all in all because um, that was in the reverse. I vibe so well with you. I'm searching for real love. They're searching for real, real, real love. They aren't just lollygagging around. Like, they're really searching for real love. Let's see if Flame Fantasies, what does the divine masculine or feminine want to communicate to the other at this time when it comes to, like, sexuality or anything they want to relay? <laughs> Let's F ourselves to sleep. See, these are kind of X-rated cards, but let's see what other messages. <laughs> I want you to notice how what I am for you. And I think about the sounds that you'll make when we're doing it. So that's what they wanted to relay. <laughs> Those cards. These ones will be up for sale. These are the flame fantasies by me. Um, so there's like R-rated, X-rated, and then like G-rated ones, and the X-rated ones kind of flew out for you guys, but hey, it gets the message across, right? <laughs> and then these are also going to be for sale, The these ones with the messages. They are diverse, so you can use them for both female and masculine, divine masculine, divine feminine, and it's the His Thoughts Mystical Flames by me. And then these beautiful rainbow ones, I am... Changing some of the artwork just a teensy bit. Um, I'm going to be doing more of my own digital art where it comes to like the rainbows and everything like the same colors, but it's just going to be like different pictures a little bit. Um, I'll show you when they're done, but they're going to have kind of the same um, messages on them. So I'm really excited to announce when those will be done and those will just still be the Mystical Flames Oracle deck by me. <clears throat> It's asking you like when things get overwhelming, just like focus on your creativity channel from the higher dimensional beings and from source. And that will really, really help. Let's get one from the sexual magic tarot. We have the Empress in the reverse. And then we have the lovers in the upright. I feel like this person, like you're feeling a little like not totally with your empress energy like feeling completely in alignment because you're doubting this person because you're feeling like either you know they have to make a choice between you or somebody else or they're feeling that way um and he maybe you're like you know something's up so you feel a little like eh, but don't worry like it it'll all be okay no matter what um, I feel like ultimately this person will make a decision and either way you will be fine so let's ask, let's have you think of one more question here. We ask the pendulum one more question and I'm going to let it swing and see what it goes to. It said maybe, it said maybe, let's try it again.
try again. <laughs> Let's try one more time. We have Leo. Virgo. We have Leo again. We have master number 55. We have all air signs. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And another Aquarius. It landed on maybe... Oh my gosh, can we please get a definite answer for these people? <laughs> we have Aries and we have Taurus. Yes. What flipped over? Sagittarius. Oh, it landed on the yes, guys. We have another Aquarius and Cancer. So I'll show you. Pink is yes. It landed right here. So that was a yes. Can you see? Yes, yes. Okay. So we have Cancer, Aquarius, we have Leo, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Leo again, master number 55. We also have master number 1111 here. 1111, the twin flame number with Aquarius. We have all the air signs. Definitely emphasizing the age of Aquarius too. And we have Sagittarius. So, oh, if you just asked another question, we're watching that. The answer on here says to ask a friend. So if you're just asking a question by chance, watching that, it landed on ask a friend. Just let you know. So stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna have a lot more fun items like this and other things that are coming in that I'm gonna be using for the readings to just spice it up a little bit, have some fun get some more definitive answers. So what's peeking out of the bag right here? I love you. So, and they want you to know they feel sad right now. So that could be for many reasons, but they love you. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm so excited about it. If you have not subscribed, please make sure to do so. We have so much fun here. So much fun here. So much fun. You will not regret it. And yeah, I'm going to be doing some giveaways soon, some more collaborations soon. Stay tuned. Oh, and guys, please make sure to give this a like. Definitely leave a comment below letting me know how it resonates. And if you found the messages useful, please share this with a friend that you know it could help benefit if they're going through a twin flame dynamic. Also, if you wouldn't mind supporting my channel by sharing this video out on your community, or if you just hit that little share button, copy the link and text it to a friend, I would definitely appreciate it. The more people we can help, the better. If you wanted a love reading with me, all the details are in the description box below. And my most popular readings are the Starseed Origins readings, and that'll also be in the description box below. I love you all so incredibly much, and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Love you.